Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to another session In last class we were studying about control system design process and we have studied how actually we can use flowchart mechanism to design our project In this particular class we are going to talk about control system design again by using robotics example There's a common thing you might also hear about that that robots are slowly killing the jobs for humans. It's very important for us to understand how to program a robot. First of all, it's very important for us to know how much is the significance of robotics in our day-to-day -day life. So, I'm going to show you one cinematic video that will give you understanding where exactly currently we are using robots. Especially if you are working in control system environment, it's very very vital for you to understand how to program a robot. So in this particular example, we are going to talk about control design by using example of robotics. So let's start. In this particular example, you can see there is a robot here. It have one arm only, and there are two conveyors conveyor A and conveyor B. As you already seen in cinematic video, this kind of robot is present in automated factories. As you can see in a diagram, this robot will pick up a work from conveyor A and place it in conveyor B. As I just told you in the last class, for the control design, it's very very vital for you to understand what is the process what are the requirement of your client. So here for example, we get a requirement from our client and it is like this when we will start this particular system or this particular robot initially robot is at the position of conveyor b when we will press start button pb1 as you can see here robotic arm will start moving in clockwise direction now it's very important for us to understand that what is the stop point for that robotic arm like when this robotic arm should be stopped so for sure for that as our target is to reach to the conveyor a and pick up the job so so we need to stop the robotic arm when it reaches to the right position of conveyor a when the robot arm has moved to the position of conveyor a arm will grab the work when the arm has grabs the work or grabs the book piece then it will start rotating counterclockwise direction how long it will be rotating counterclockwise direction until it reaches to the position of the conveyor b when arm has rotated the position of conveyor b it will release its work in conveyor b that's the whole system we have to program by using the control design standards that we studied in last class if you haven't watched the last class i highly recommend you to watch first that lecture and then you can see this lecture it will be easy for you to understand if you have already watched the first lecture from the series so i hope you understand till now and in next class we will convert this particular example into the flowchart and then we will program it there was a lot of requests to start up a channel in hindi or urdu so i have started another channel named noman officials this is the channel where i'm posting all the training sessions in urdu or hindi you can say so if you're interested to watch the trainings in urdu or hindi this is the best option for you. Go ahead. The link of that channel can be found at the end of the video or you can you can do simply type in Noman official and you will reach that channel. Because we will cover a lot of topics in future about control system, PLC, DCS, HMI, SCADA, controls, design, robotics and a lot many other things. Industrial IoT, cyber security. So if you're interested, 
to watch more interesting videos from this channel all you have to do is subscribe and turn on your notification so that you don't miss any video from idea and automation academy thanks for watching today and till next video take care and allah Hafiz.